morning everyone well it appears that our cold snap is over here in central Wisconsin uh, well sort of it's been uh, somewhere between 0 and 20 below for the last two weeks here uh, we got about a foot of snow on the ground uh, but after a relatively mild winter uh, we really got hit hard and you know a lot of the United States got hit with cold temperatures uh, for that two week period but this was extreme here uh, that that two two and a half weeks or whatever it was um, was a little unexpected uh, you know we expect cold weather usually only lasts for about a week those uh, those big uh, arctic blasts but this one lasted two weeks and it, it got me worried uh, about my bees. Um, you know, uh, we're asked a lot, um, and, and it's, a, it's a big discussion between beekeepers, whether cold weather uh, will kill your bees or will affect your bees. And, you know, the answer really is no, but it also is yes. Uh, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Uh, if you have a strong, healthy colony, you know, uh, well into the start of winter, you probably have little to worry about as long as you have plenty of stores and it's healthy and it's, it's relatively large, you know, eight, 10 frames of bees going in, um, you're, you're in good shape. Uh, you know, I rarely have that size colonies. This year, I wanted to keep some colonies that were really, really big, uh, really, really powerful hives. And it ended up costing me as I lost 25% of my hives. Uh, they swarmed on me uh, after, the, after I pulled the honey supers. Uh, so those powerful hives that I was hoping to get through into winter, uh, like I said, ended up swarming. And then I ended up behind the eight ball because you know they some of them didn't either didn't create queens uh, but it was so late in the year uh, I split the hives out trying to get those queens to produce uh, get mated and produce a winter nest in time God only knows if that was successful or not we'll have to see uh, as the uh, spring progresses whether those bees were successful or not but um, getting back to what I was talking about I, I have limited space in my storage here uh, for me to store lots of, you know, blankets, insulation, or wrap, or, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, um, insulated board. Um, I don't, I just don't have the, the, the space for it, so I am trying to get just my healthier, powerful colony, more powerful colonies through winter with minimal uh, insulation. Um, but if you're trying to get weak colonies or weaker colonies through winter, these cold snaps can be a detriment. Now these are healthy hives, all the honey in the world, they just don't have the population. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Yesterday, I, I, after it broke a little bit, it was about 20 degrees yesterday afternoon. I was worried about a hive. I might have my broodminder on it. And uh, the broodminder had told me during this cold snap that there was a problem. Um, it had gotten cooler in the hive. Um, you know, they weren't maintaining that good temperature. And I couldn't pop the hive at 20 below. There's just no way. So yesterday it was 20 degrees. I figured, oh, what the heck, you know, I uh, popped the hive and sure enough, uh, the hive was dead. Um, and I'm going to tell you why. They starved. That's why they died. And why did they starve? There was four frames of honey still in the hive. So they had honey. Now, t before our cold snap occurred, my broodminder had told me that 
it had gotten a little cooler in the hive, so I popped the, the hood to check on the bees. And the bees were all the way over to the right-hand side on the far two frames. Now, there was only two, two and a half frames of bees. And I kind of knew that, that at that point, I was in a little bit of trouble, uh, especially for that size box. We're talking about a 10-frame box here. And, uh, but there was honey around them, so what I did was I put a couple of sugar bricks but I put the sugar bricks in the middle of the hive, uh, thinking that the bees would move over um, and get underneath it. Well, when I came back yesterday and looked, uh, the bees were partially under the, the uh, sugar bricks, but mainly stayed uh, on their honey frames, the frames that had honey on them. But literally, they were that far away from honey and there were layers of bees inside the comb and out layers of bees where they they were sitting and they were stuck and they could not leave that cluster for two weeks and that's where they sat and starved and they were an inch two inches from 10 pounds of honey uh that close but it was that cold they could not um they could not move so in an essence maybe lots of insulation wrap around that hive could have aided them to keep them going a little more i don't have that option here maybe some people do if i only had just a couple of hives that would be a, an easy option for me but because i have you know 20 30 hives i can't uh store um the wrap for 20 or 30 hives so i only have to get healthy colonies through through winter the um now if i if i was uh you know had the money and the resource i would do exactly what ian does and store them in a shed and control that temperature i mean this arctic blast hit him too and he maintained four degrees celsius and when i talk degrees i'm talking fahrenheit so it was 20 below fahrenheit which i don't even know what that is in celsius uh but uh he keeps his his shed at four degrees which is roughly 38 39 degrees fahrenheit uh you could probably get three frames of bees through a winter on 38 degrees uh and that is the way to go if you have the, the resource to do that say you own a farm or something and you have the shed and you have the capabilities to do that that's what i would do uh, but I just don't so I got to do what with what I got to do But yesterday was a was an absolute kick in the gut for me. I hate losing bees. I try to do everything I can but uh, you know, I did leave for that couple of months and uh, in um, October and November and I, I, I wish I would have paid a little bit more attention Next year I had already planned on doing this but next year I had planned on um tearing apart all my production colonies and all my bees will be will be placed in in nucleus boxes uh for the winter um i don't have those huge nests going in a winter to um make a 10 frame uh box work sometimes i can, i get 10 frame boxes through uh winter um with a with a real health start of a healthy population in there but rare that i have this this really nice huge nest in there uh i use carniolan bees which uh tend to go through their stores a little slower um it, with a smaller brood nest however they are still limited to how they can move when it gets into those deep deep freezes but there uh, you can see i actually uh you know, tore apart my hive a little bit, kind of doing a little bit of um, forensic uh, investigation. But that's the hive that uh, that went down on me. Um, I was just scraping the bees out, and I don't know if I can't remember if I uh, if I tore this all the bees out or not. So you can see, you see all the bees right there? That's where the bees were. They were right in the front of this frame right here. Um, 
buried in there and there were there were layers and layers of bees in this and they were you can see all that honey there and they were just away from it and the same thing on this side and then uh, actually you know on the frame next to it you can see all the bee butts sitting in, in here on the top that's where they were when I had seen it just before the cold snap hit um, now you can see a little bit of frost on top and that's a mistake a lot of beekeepers make thinking that you know your hive got you know too much uh, you, can see, you see that this is what this is what it looks like look at that look at how close they were to the honey and they could not move over to all this honey right here they just got hit by that cold snap now if I had you know four inches of insulation wrapped around there maybe the, that small cluster could have made it uh, but uh, as it was no you know there there they are again um, these bees were actually underneath the sugar and you can kind of see where they actually took some of the sugar and they stuck it in those frames or in those uh, cells but the, these are all full of bee butts in there but what a absolute shame you know I had my sugar bricks on here uh, absolute shame um, that that had to happen to them now if they were in a five frame box wrapped a little smaller box where they could heat it a little bit easier I'll bet you um, they had a better chance of surviving uh, in that smaller box than this big box uh, so and I've learned that lesson over the years and I had already, like I said I had already planned next year uh, to tear apart all these 10 frame boxes and install them all in either just a five frame box or a double five frame box just depending on the size of the cluster so I still have you know uh, other hives you know obviously alive there's a hive over there a lone hive sitting over there and I have a broodminder temperature on that and I noticed it was uh, it had dropped as well so I popped the lid on that yesterday and they are still alive there's a little bit larger than a softball size cluster but they're sitting there and they're they're they were right underneath a sugar brick and that sugar brick is is about just a skeleton so they aren't they aren't sitting on any food so today I've got some sugar bricks I'm gonna give them so they are always underneath a little bit of uh, of carbs so that's what I kind of wanted just wanted to that's what I kind of just wanted to talk about today a little bit um, you know we try as best we can to do what we can and uh, sometimes it's just not good enough uh, weak colonies are very 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 hard to get through when they just you know they just are and uh, it's sometimes not even worth it to try uh, this colony was I think going into winter it wasn't a strong colony but it wasn't a weak one either it's probably five frames of bees and at a point in time at the end of September I remember and I said should I take I didn't want to tear the colony apart because uh, it was getting a little cooler and I should have just transferred them over to a five frame box. I just should have done that. That way they're always in contact with honey. See these bees literally could not move off uh, of their spot to go an inch or two inches to go get the honey. And in these next two months, you, we're gonna run into that. This is what we run into a lot during um, certain cold snaps because it'll warm up. Bees will come out and get a flight and you'll think, man, look at that, my colony survived the winter and then all of a sudden three weeks later your colony is dead and you wonder why well there was probably three or four days in there where the temperature dropped and it just got really cold for that three or four days and you're like well that's not a big deal but the colony had split themselves to go off and go over and move over to some honey and now they're only half the size on each side of the and they're just not big enough to warm each other and they'll just die right there uh and that happens often as well. So uh, colony size as well as the size of your hive box matters in the winter. And uh, I don't care how long you've been beekeeping, if you're new or you've been doing this for a while, any 
when you find a dead colony, it is a kick in the gut. It just is. So, anyways, does cold weather kill your bees? No and yes. That's about uh, as good an answer as uh, you can actually get. So, till next time, just remember, I'll be keeping us local. Take care and stay warm. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, I'm going to go when it warms up today. Uh, today's Sunday. It's 9 degrees out this morning, but uh, um, it's supposed to get up to 28. It's going to snow, but I do, you know, because, you know, the I got to work at, uh, tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to go through some of my hives and um, add sugar bricks as needed here. Uh, it's supposed to be 40 tomorrow, but... I can't wait till tomorrow. I got to do this, especially for that one over there. I got to get it to them. So I'll do a little short little video on, um, you know, adding some sugar bricks uh, later on today. Okay, take care.